Whoop to motherfucking whoop, guys. You already know it's one only Miss Juggalette, and that means that it is Friday, and it is a late Friday. Uh, I apologize. My phone has been going through some issues. Um, ever since it, I've done it twice now, I've had to factory reset it because my, every time my phone updates, it, like, stops working. Like, everything shuts down. So, I had to factory reset my phone, and it took all day to try and get it to actually start working. Um, so anyways, this week's topic of the week was how we lost our virginities. Thanks for that one, uh, Twisted Big Papa. Um, but uh, mine is a little bit of an interesting one because it's not very often that sex sends you to the ER. Um, I was a month and two days past my 17th birthday, um, uh, but it actually started a little, a few days prior to that, um, me and my, at the time, boyfriend, um, went out on a regular date, went to the movies, I don't even remember what we went and seen, it was something stupid, um, but, uh, anyways, we sat in the back row of the movie theater, and the whole entire movie, he was, like, putting his hand inside my thigh, like, you know, up on my upper inside thigh, and, you know, trying to put his, you know, put his arm around me and all that, and finally, I just, you know, I let him put his arm around me, and I, you know, and he pushed my head over to lay, like, between his chest and his arm. So, laid there, well, sat there, laid on his chest, and watched the movie until it was over, and, uh, the title, you know, the credits started rolling, and next thing I know, I'm thinking that we're getting ready to get up, and he grabs my face with his opposite hand and pushes my head over to him and start making out in the back of the movie theater, and, uh, so, sat there a good while, and just, you know, kissed and touched and everything like that, and left the movie theater, and then we got out to the car, and we continued our, uh, make-out session. And, um, one thing led to another, and he ended up getting head in the <laughs> movie theater parking lot. Um, and, uh, although it was my first time doing something like that, it wasn't his. And, uh, for that being said, he sure as hell didn't, he sure as hell didn't act like it. Um, it took me less than three minutes to get him off, um, which was pretty bad. Um, but anyways, um, fast forward about four days, and then, uh, I was staying out at my grandmother's, um, and I, I used to do that a lot. I actually lived with my grandma, uh, not too long after that, uh, to help her around the house and all that, but anyways, I digress. Um, my grandma went out to play cards with her husband, um, they have, like, tournaments or whatever around in her area, or what used to be her area, um, and my boyfriend lived next door to my grandmother, and... He texted me and asked what I was doing and said I was watching a movie and uh, he asked if I could come or if he could come over. I said, yeah, I'm, my grandma just left to, to go play cards and I just sat down with some popcorn and I was going to watch a movie. So he said he'd be right over. Well, it was actually quite funny to watch him run in like through the backwood area between the two houses and book it across the snow um onto the back porch um but anyways he came in and we went back into my room and laid down and started watching powerpuff girls which was really weird but um, and eating popcorn and whatever, whatever. And, uh, the whole entire time he's, like, you know, trying to stick his hand down my pajama pants and, you know, rubbing on my chest and kissing on my ear and 
Um, finally, it got to the point where I'm like, you know what? This dude isn't going to stop, and it wouldn't be a bad thing. So I said, let's just go for it. And, you know, we started making out and kissing and touching and and uh, his uh, fingers and mouth started wandering to places. And then uh, he, when he finished me, he came back up and asked me if I wanted to. And so, yeah, sure. So... I, uh, he's like, well, you have to pull something out of my pocket and pulled out a condom. Okay. So I told him he had to put it on because I, the only time I'd really ever seen the things was when we had the sex ed class and he had to put it on, a, or we had to put it on a banana. Um, but I had never touched one before. Um, that's an important, important part. Um, but anyways, so he put it on and, you know, did a little bit more to make sure that I was okay with it and then, uh, started putting it in and, you know, slowly doing it and, you know, yeah, he's starting to, he's talking me through it and all of a sudden, you know, he's like, yeah, it feels good. It's tight, this, that, and the other. And then I started feeling uncomfortable like more than I should have been and he all of a sudden is like okay it's starting to get too tight what's going on and it started really hurting and hurting and hurting more than I thought that it should and I said I don't know but you've got to stop get off me now so after he was having a hard time with it and he ended up you know, finally being able to pull it out, and I rushed into the bathroom and grabbed a hold of a mirror and looked down there, and I was getting all red and purple and puffy and hivy. So <laughs> I told him, I said, "We need to go to the hospital, and we need to do it now." So grab some clothes and rush to the hospital, and. You know, when you first check in, they ask, you know, what you're there for. Um, I'll just talk to the doctor when they come in. <laughs> so, went into the back, and they said, what seems to be the problem? You don't look like you have anything wrong with you. I said, oh, I've got something wrong with me. Uh, and uh, it feels very, very uncomfortable. So, I told them what we were doing, what happened, and I said, I don't know what the problem is, but... You just need to look at it. And that was when I found out that I was allergic to latex. And not only was I allergic to latex, but he had to fish out parts of the condom because it broke. Um, great day to find out that I was allergic to latex. But my first experience was absolutely dreadful. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, my... Second experience was a lot better than my first, and it's actually with it was with my now husband. Um, and but that time he was actually a virgin when we were together the first time. Um, so that was it, you'd figure usually with a virgin it doesn't last very long. Um, well. When we had our first time, uh, it was actually the day that I met his mother. Um, we, it, my mom went out and got him for my 18th birthday party, um, and that's the day that we met. Um, but he didn't tell his mom that where he was going, because um, at the time he was 17. Um, he didn't tell his mom where he was going and kind of lied to her about where he was going. Um, so... His mom wanted to meet me, so I went with my grandma and my mom to meet him and his mother and his stepmom. And then he was actually coming out and staying to staying with us until later on that night because I was in a play that night and he was going to go to the play. Um, 
well. So we dropped, we stayed off over at my grandmother's and she went to run some errands and she said we'd be back just before the play, you know, just before I had to be there for the play. And it didn't take long for something to happen. Um, but instead of it being like a normal person who, who, a normal guy who has sex for the first time, it lasted on and off for probably about two and a half hours. Um, and then, you know, we both got a shower and did stuff in the shower. <laughs> and then I went to the play. Well, my first scene that I was in is jumping around up and down. You know, I was supposed to be, you know, kind of like the hype per the hype man kind of person in the scene. And it was no bueno. <laughs> um, I was not feeling like jumping up and down. I could barely feel my legs. Um, but then after that, we went back to we went back to the house for a little while. Had a little more fun for about an hour, and then we took him home. And uh, we were sitting in the back seat of my mom's Monte Carlo, and my mom was driving. And very discreetly, in the back seat of my mom's car, he got a blowjob uh, on the way home. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it. The first experience was definitely not the best. Um, and, you know, as Crazy McCormick had said, you know, asked, you know, did you regret the first person that you were with? At the time, no. It definitely wasn't the person that I expected that it was going to be, but that's an entirely different story in itself. Um, at the time, I didn't regret the person, um, because I had feelings for the person. I had true feelings for the person. Um, but... If I could go back in time and change it, I would. Um, <laughs> and I would definitely take what I know then, or know now, and take it back to then. Because then I wouldn't have been stuck in the emergency room. Uh, but anyways, um, that's really it. So, uh, if you guys have any topics that you would like to have us do, um, please let us know. Um, we would love to hear your guys' ideas, uh, and I'm going to get going because it is kind of getting late out here, and I want to go to bed. So, much motherfucking wicked clown love, guys, and don't forget, always keep it wicked. Later.